Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of Fruits Baskets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I wish there was a way for me to turn off the fucking Discord, but who knows? Probably can. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I've had, it's only about 2 o'clock, I've had, like, not the worst morning class afternoon. It started out good, and then it went a little bad. I sour, and then kind of now it's gotten better. I mean, the Marie socks are really, like, killing me, and I'm just like, <laughs> I, like, you know how you're really, really close to getting something, and then everybody else is trying to get it too, and then it just, like, ooh, the site shuts down, the app shuts down, everything just shuts down, and then you're just, like, clicking and clicking and trying to get the product that you really want, and it, it's sold out, and you're just like, <laughs> I can't anymore. That's me right now. Like, honestly. I mean, mm, but I'm trying to be helpful. That's all. I want, I've been wanting a switch for like last year. And hurricane season starts next month. So if the power goes out here in Florida, I am fucking scared. But then I would have something to play with, but um, who knows? What's wrong? Well, congratulations! Not that long ago. Seriously? Hey, Mom, you cheat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Toru, believe me, you don't want to know. Mm-mm. 
Seriously? Well, me G. Haru, did you really have to do that, though? <laughs> Go on, Toru. You can do it. <laughs> I don't think she can just straight up like that. Like, put so much pressure right there. I, mm -mm. Mm. Of course. At least she tried. Me for effort, you know. She's crying because of both. I mean, obviously. There you go. Listen to Momiji. <laughs> We were all told that as kids. <laughs> I never ate peas and watermelon. Yep, because it always comes back to him. <laughs>
Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> This trip just got more offered. I mean, we can't be rude and say, get the fuck out, don't come, but, I mean, it's too late, I'm already here. Well... Sad. You'll be with him. Is it weird that I want to be a fly on that wall during that gathering and see what in the world they're going to talk about? Like, ooh, 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 there's got to be a reason why you know, Akino's here. Besides, you know, you but. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. <gasps> Seriously? Oh my god. You haven't lived. It's like someone saying they've never had waffles before. Or like French toast. Or, I don't know, a crepe. Well, I've never had a crepe. Well, no, a real authentic crepe, I've never had. Oh. 
touch his baby. I know so too. I just, I can't with you. I so dislike you so much. But I still pity you so fucking much. Because it's spoilers. Seriously? Let me not. Let me not. Oh. Mm. <laughs> because that's just a keto's hold on him. Like no matter how much he tries to get away from her, he always still holds her. Mm mm. About calling them, that might be a bad idea. Yeah, do you even know their number? Our hard headed child. Mm -hmm.
Thanks for smashing it. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, we needed that cry today. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so much. And I'm okay. I'm not okay right now, but oh god, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. I love him so freaking much. Just, I, I don't even know what else to say about this episode. I hate the fact that Akito is here, but I get the fact that she has to be here, but I felt like now she's just sitting there abusing everybody else. She currently hitting on Kisa. And you know, you just want to go ahead and be like, mm, 
attendant called Child Protective Services up in this bitch. Like, I don't know. I mean, even if it's a family member who is, like, technically a part of your family, but on the other side of your family, what the heck is the police gonna do about this? They're gonna be like, oh, I just beat on them to beat on them. I don't know. I mean, God. As much as I dislike Akito, because ever since... <laughs> I watched the original dance show and got to the end of the series and disliked him so, 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 so at the time when they're saying that's a he, but she's actually, she disliked her so freaking much. Like, and even till this day, I cannot stand her. Seeing the sight of her just repulses me. And I just, you know, if you could punch any anime character in the face, she's like, it, it, she's up there. She's on that list. I don't know what number she is. She ain't number one because there's someone who I hate far much more than her. But she up in that list. And oh my god, just like, uh, the power that she has over Yuki. Like, I can't sometimes, but I get it. Her day is coming. That's all I'm gonna freaking say. Her day is coming. And I'm not saying that to be rude, but it's really because of the big old spoilers up in this ish that I can't talk about until we get to that ish about her. But if you read the manga, you already know what the heck I'm talking about. But if you have not read that manga, you just gotta wait. I mean, but if you've seen... I don't think the original series really talked about it that much, but they kind of... They gave, like, a little ish not too much not too little to the point where it's like hey go read the manga to find out if you really want to know but if you really want to know that it's like asap go read that manga i haven't read it in a while but like that was the number one thing that i had already known like prior to this like new series coming out that was the only thing in the things with rin and shit like that but uh <laughs> like uh yuki my baby boy, Yuki. It's just seeing him and Toru. Like, that's why it's still to this day. I shit the crap out of them. I'm sorry. Like, as much as the canon ship who ended up together in the series, at the end of the series, I do love that canon ship no matter what. But I just feel like, to me, and maybe to maybe, like, a several other people who also like Yuki and Toru together... I'm not happy with that canon ship, and it's been years, <laughs> freaking years. As much as I love that canon ship, I'm just sitting over here. I'm like, oh my god, do y'all not see? I'm like, I see the chemistry with the canon ship, like, but like ship, no matter what. But then I look at her and Yuki, and I'm just like, <laughs> like, oh my god, like they had a history. And typically, usually in love stories or whatever. You end up going for the guy who you have history that, like, oh, hey, something you did something with the person as a little kid, but the, you don't remember it up until now, or you keep a memory, and then you find out the connection. You end up going with that person, he or she, whoever it is, right? Right? But, oh, my God, I just... Oh, <laughs> my heart, I can't. This, oh, this is a really good episode. Emotional. Towards the end, really, because I wasn't expecting Yuki to say all that and everything, and then my heart, because of reasons, but this was a really good fucking episode, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of season 2 of Reese Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Monday for episode 8. Bye, guys!